All right. Ready to play? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not doing an intro. We're just gonna play. I'm kind of sick of doing intros, to be honest with you. I feel very fake. This like, is to the moon cake. Yeah, this is the game. It's in the title. If you don't read, then I don't know how you can hear. What? Uh, that's coming. That's being. <laughs> <laughs> that's either being edited out or it's gonna be left in as a joke. What I meant to say, I don't know what I meant to say really. <laughs> if you're on YouTube, if you can't read, I don't know what you're doing. Like, how are you gonna be find stuff? It doesn't mean they can't hear. Yeah, but they won't be able to tell what it is if they can't they see, care. or they can't read. <laughs> I guess that wasn't really. That looks interesting. Turn the lights on. I can't hear. Yeah. Oh, the music's so good. Mm. Oh. Someone just died outside. Not really. There was a car wreck, though. Is that a kitty cat? It's a squirrel. Oh. It's so sad. I told you. Oh, yeah. You can check that on, on camera. I mean, it's fine. Have you started home yet? No, it's fucking... What time is it? Six. Six something? 21. Oh. Yeah, of course no one would go home at 6.20. Fools. Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is you then. Dr. Yeah, Rawlson's a girl. It. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do. Well, typically when you read something, you'll read it out loud in a voice. It could be your voice. Oh. Where were you looking, Neil? I don't like my voice. Don't, oh god, I'm just taken aback by that. That's such good acting. I really feel immersed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm there in this pixelated game. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Oh, it was a squirrel. I know I'll play this part. It looks like a kitty cat, though. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. You ain't gotta get quiet. Yell. Be be aggressive. Yeah. She's being aggressive. Your parents are in there. Yeah, but I'm only allowed. I don't care. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what are we doing? Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Oh, goodness. Oh, let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. I don't remember how to play. Alright, yeah. You have to click on things. Received equipment. I went... I, I told him to go back here. <laughs> but he went there. You still clicked on the car. Okay. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Dr. Watch, such a cool cat. <laughs> Daddy-o. Alright, we can... Sucker. Right-click, yeah, sucker. Right-click the toggle, man. Whoa. Can I save? I can. Ignore that save file. I've never played this game before. <laughs> oh, I can actually get out of it that way. What way you want to go, left or right? Up. Great, both of them point <laughs> the same way. Um... Let's go to that one since I saw it first. The left? Yeah. I was like, I what asked is left that? or right. Oh, neither. The sign to the house points the other way. Oh, sorry. I, I read your line. <laughs> oh, how kind of it to exist. I forgot. I thought the game was just telling me that. I didn't realize someone was saying it. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Did the door just shut? The, Car squirrel. the squirrel did it. Cars can't do that. How thoughtful of you. Or maybe they can't. I don't know. The squirrel did it. Yeah, he's dead. The squirrel can't do anything anymore other than be oh, dead. Just... Pigeon! A lot of them. They follow the path, kind of. Come on. Who put a boulder here? I'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's their security system. High tech. Oh, cucumbers? It's like a curse that they're covering up. Like, oh, cucumbers. Cucumbers. 
We don't have time for this fluff. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's like it was written by a four-year-old. Let's try pushing it out of the way. I thought you took my line for a second. You can take your call if you want. I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah. Oh, that did something, didn't it? Anyway. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. They're stupid. Or, we could just call it night and blame it on that. I feel like not yet, and I won't until this time. Alright. You have three options here. We can push the boulder by hand, find a branch to move find it. Find a branch. Alright. Are you sure? Push it by hand? I don't know. We're gonna push it by hand. But you'll see in a second. Win. Whenever you feel like it. That's your up, by the way. All right, on three. One, two, three! I, I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. I know what it is. Oh, uh, we need to get going for now. Speak a little, speak a little louder there, dear. Well, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll apostrophe thing. Figure that thing out later. It's an alien. Right. Aliens live on the moon. Not in this game. Are those aliens? No. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> the don't squirrel have, was an alien. I don't have all the answers. The squirrel was an alien. They do not, they, they're very conservative where they're walking. Mm -hmm. They gotta run. <coughs> I'm gonna cut that out later. Too soon. It's already dark. What does it matter if I leave any later? Right. It's not gonna get any darker or lighter. Bad people come out at nine, though. Yeah, really? No, I know. Oh, I thought they might have said that. No, they said that blonde hair, blue eyed girls get sacrificed on Halloween, though. Stupid people. <laughs> Little girl talking there, I believe. Ma, they're here. I, I think it's a girl. If not, I'm sorry. Ma, they're here. <laughs> I don't think you would talk like that either. They'd be very similar. <laughs> they're here? What? What? Um, yeah. Did they know they were coming? Yeah. How? Because they've been called here. They're on a job. This is also yours. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? That sounded funny. I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. All <laughs> small talk. You know the answer, you stupid owl. <laughs> Hoo hoo. <laughs> It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. Look at your tiny... Uh... I know! I was looking at that. <laughs> and I doubt they'd have day. any coffee. Oh, shut up. I believe that was one, one sentence, not two periods <laughs> between there. She needs her coffee. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Whiskey lullabies? Not through your... Blathering? Yes, that's blathering. Not through your blathering, they won't. I feel like I have a cue card on the side of the stage. I'm like, blathering. You missed it. <laughs> Did I say something? Yeah. Not today, I didn't. Don't forget the equipment, moron. You're a mean person. Ellipsy, ellipsy, ellipsy. I don't get paid enough for this. Damn, and I was two days from retirement. Huh. He carried it all the way there, and then he like acted like it was super heavy then. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. We've gotten through the prologue. OMG. Uh, it's a name of Lily, so I'll let you do that. Rosaline? I don't know. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume. I called her Rosalind, but I don't know. Probably Rosalind. I like Rosaline. Thanks for coming on such short notice. 
That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I am just his caretaker. I love that your two woman voices are the exact same voice. <laughs> Kids! And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. There you go. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. Why does she talk like she's half retarded? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, interact with people often! I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny. Oh, now I have to say that. You did the same thing and I was... Johnny. Oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait. I, I couldn't tell where my hand was. Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with... I just turned my Xbox off. <laughs> If it's a, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. We're not medical doctors. We're mental doctors. Come with me. It's not a scary game. Well, I made it scary. Well, it isn't. Come on, grab that case and let's go. How come you can't pick it up? When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. So my back don't break. Received equipment. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. I, you've carried it up a mountain. <laughs> Why does it matter now? Feel free to continue walking. I'm just go upstairs. Why would I not? Yes. I guess we could go find the kids, but sounds like that's our job. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. I don't know if that was the same character talking or what. I doubt it, but... Maybe I... No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyways. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one that said there's no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Is meteoroid a word? Meteorite. I thought it was meteor or meteorite. That was a door. I thought we were just kind of trapped big, in there. It's a big hallway thing. Big door. Talk, maybe. Oh, there we go. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Don't you tell me how to do my job. What are they going to do with a meteoroid? It isn't a meteoroid in there. He's just comparing it in heavy with his weight no, words. No, boulders jump and that's a meteoroid in Alien. I'll talk to you now. Ready to set up. Look around. That's so much lag. I don't know why. Oh, sorry. You said look around, didn't you? I have a one track mind. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Written by Ken Gao. Give me a, the option to speak there for a second. We got this machine. Are you sure your common household power outlet is sufficient? Are you sure you're um... <laughs> No worries. We're the experts. I th it looks like it was supposed to be like, we're the experts. Oh, crap. Standard procedures. Just keep you on your toes. And fry on your breaker box. With this otherworldly thing we're hooking it's up here. Yeah, it's, a, it's that meteorite. Meteor asteroid Boy, thing. thing. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. Plenty of time for what? What are they going to do? <laughs> so you two can grant him any wish, huh? 
to try at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So what's the wish? Immortality. The moon. This is like um 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 despicable me. Okay. He wants the moon. Continue your line. The moon. <laughs> the moon. <laughs> I was gonna say the oh, there moon. You go. He wants to go to the moon. There's aliens there. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, though. So can you do it? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about our client here? Excuse me. That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he's rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life. Craftsman. 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 Most of, most of his life. And his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know any details. Many details. We can just exclude several letters out of anything <laughs> we read. I would have known more if I were his paper boy, for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info information. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he's signed for you too. And he's bedridden, you know, I can't do shit about it. Mmm, so be it. So be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Me or you? Me! I All talk right. a lot. You talk now. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print in this chair. <laughs> right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. I almost flipped this chair over just then. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I would have laughed. You want to control your character? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll click for you. Wait, come back here for a moment. I'm trying to progress this game. I have something for you. Here, take this. Receive remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it as I was leaving. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. We control his heart? No, we don't control his heart. Oh, it's a monitor. Just kidding. Okay, I thought she was just kind of stuck for a second. Hey, little weirdos, you want to help me out? <laughs> Yo, show me around. What you want? Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask if you two wanted to show me around the house. Uh, close enough. <laughs> okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What you think, Tommy? What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to do? It just said like, but I, I admire you for adding more to the, co the conversation. We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. That's a different color. Mom put it there to save when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Mother used to keep candies on high shelves, too. <laughs> My mother. All right, I'll go get it. The kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. They're bossy. I'd be slapping them kids. <laughs> You're not even in your house. You're in someone else's house. So? 
I have to go get the mother to slap him. Is it over here, I said? Oh, the dining room's over there. Did she say something about the dining room? No, but the kitchen's there next to the dining room. So we're going in here room. first. Oh, there's the kitchen. There's that candy cane. Oops. <laughs> oh. That's the light. That is not what I wanted to do. What? <laughs> They've got like the coast, the furniture coasters. <laughs> She's like slid it. Alright. Might as well get that candy cane before for them while I'm here. I fell asleep. Well, get up there, woman. Repeat twice. I don't want to go to sleep. Terrible calories. Why is it in parentheses? Am it's I her thinking thought. it? Yeah, typically. Oh. Alright, don't I'm not going back to them yet. We're gonna go explore the house. Why did she stop halfway there? Stop, woman. Give you options of where she wanted to go. The kitchen's at the other door. Go inside anyways? Yeah. Well, yes. Alright, there's nothing here. I mean I can turn the lights on, obviously, but I'll have to go talk to them though. Oh, there's a door over there. Dang it. Okay, I got you what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you if you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Heh. <laughs> I like her. I want to pee. Go we'll pee then. Okay. Are you gonna voice my first thing? Yeah, please don't knock that mock over. I smell a ladybug. I'm not gonna voice these things, we're just gonna click past it. <laughs> Something about a funny room. It's weird, apparently. Let me get the keys though. Is that book in his study? I bet it's in here. Dr. Rosen, could you be a little bit more cooperative? Maybe go to where I'm asking you to go to? He talks like Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh. Baby dragon. Oh my goodness, please. Read more? The Emperor's New Clothes. Hmm. Read passage. Uh, maybe another gear. Hey, we got the room key. Ooh. What? Room key. <laughs> he chose his hiding spot well. In a book no one would read. We're snooping. Well, they told us where it was. You How missed that part. The key? Because um, they were trying to show us this weird room, but we need the key for it. And he said they said that he kept it um, in the biggest book in his study. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. What if she trips on the way to the light? The door is locked. Open with room key. Well, duh. What could be in here? It's like, oh, sorry. Sex cave. It's like a cave in here. Oh, sex dungeon, that's what I was going for. Bunnies? Bunnies? Rabbit folded out of paper. Oh. Broken music box. A stuffed toy platypus. Perry. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to poke it. I would poke it. <coughs> it's getting cut out again. <coughs> poke it. I love how that's an option. <laughs> like, is it alive? Did you see it? 
What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. <laughs> <laughs> there are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse, just beneath this cliff. You wanna go see? I got the keys. <laughs> you aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hehe. <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. Why would we take them anywhere? They're someone else's children. So you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Ellipses. You can go see the lighthouse. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check that old lighthouse. Well, we've been going for almost 27 minutes now. So you want to cut it short here? This is a long yeah. video for me. Find out what next time when we go to the lighthouse. Ooh. Transition. <laughs>